Yo guys, Urban Bars brings you the best UK reactions to rap, hip hop and urban music from all around the world. And guys, I'm super excited here at Urban Bars. The reason why is because Dax has dropped once again and he's doing another one of his one take remixes. I remember he did the one for Shook One not so long ago, people, from Mob Deep. That was fantastic. He's done so many. I could just reel off a few, but I'm not going to. So here at Urban Bars, guys, we're going to check this one out. And I'm excited again because he's got one from the album cover of The Blueprint from Jay-Z and Eminem together, Renegade. So this is the Renegade remix, guys. So I'm not going to talk too much more because I know this is like five minutes long or something. So I cannot wait to see and hear what Dax is going to do to this cut, which is a special cut because it had Jay-Z and Eminem together. So guys, let's check out our man Dax. Oh, hang on. I love that refrain. It's one of my favorite songs, actually. One of my favorite tunes of all time is Renegade. Love it, love it, love it. And it's so complex. If you try and break it down, it's not your typical structure of a rap beat, the way it's made, etc., etc. But I'm quitting rap. What is Dax saying? And you can see Dax, he's got his head down, he's in, I have no idea where he's at. But he started this with I'm quitting rap. And we've got that most famous of refrains. <sighs> Renegade. Yeah. Game of life, I'm a king in every domain. Pawn me off to the matrix, I bet you I still reign. Mm. So he says, King from every domain, pawn me off to the matrix, I bet you I remain. So this is like check. Check? I meant chess. <laughs> Sorry, I was thinking of checkmate. It's a chess. Kings, pawns, but he's also talking about being inside the matrix, being inside the dome. Oh my gosh. Dax, Dax, what are you saying, man? Yeah, game of life, I'm a king in every domain. Pawn me off to the matrix, I bet you I still reign. Storming through every beat, how I thunder and bring the pain. You would think a tornado hit, how I mix it up when I sang. Radiation from these Oh, he's got some weather lyrics. Thunder, rain, tornadoes, radiation. And what's that padlock on his jeans? He's got a key and a padlock. Whoa. Not too sure what that's all about, but our man is already just hitting us with bars upon bars. So thunder, rain, tornadoes. Oh my gosh. And then he talked about him being a king. And he'll reign in every kingdom, even though that we are the pawns to be played with. So who are the people who are playing us? Who are the people who are moving us across the chessboard? moving us and using us as pawns but Dax is saying as much as you want to use him as a pawn he's a king and he'll reign in any kingdom supreme oh my gosh I think Dax is telling us about stuff which is going behind the scenes people trust me on that yeah Game of life, I'm a king in every domain. Pawn me off to the matrix, I bet you I still reign. Storming through every beat, how I thunder and bring the pain. You Storming through every beat, a bit of thunder and I'll bring the pain. Think a tornado hit, how I mix it up when I sang. And think about how a tornado hits, I'll mix it up every time I sang. Oh my gosh. Radiation from these Hollywood stars is causing a cancer. Keeping up with the Joneses and chains of pain, your massa. Radiation from these Hollywood stars is causing the cancer. Trying to keep up with the Joneses. Rap is a plantation. Make you slave and demand you. Oh my gosh. Guys. Guys. I'm going to break this. Hollywood down. stars is causing the cancer. Keeping up with the Joneses and chains of bay in your master. Chains of bay in your master. Rap is a plantation. Make you slave and demand you. Help them pick up the crop that they use to cook propaganda. Oh, rap is the plantation. Oh my gosh. So 
I think what Dax is saying, I'm going to play that again, is that we are getting a lot of influences from Hollywood. And because of those influences, we're all trying to keep up with the Joneses. So we see these people from Hollywood and it's also from the music industry as well. So you see all these people who are living life fat, as fat as possible. You know what I'm saying? They've got the they got the whips, or you want to call it, they've got the cars, the rides, the whips, they got they got the houses, they've got the money, they got the jewelry, they got the women, the blokes, this, that, and the third, blah, blah, blah. So we are trying to keep up with the Joneses because we aspire to be like these people who are the influencers people. So Hollywood is the cancer. Because we're trying to keep up with the Joneses, we're living way out of our means, people, and it's eating away at us, rotting away. Sometimes it's from jealousy, sometimes it's because we are just exhausted trying to keep up with the Joneses, keep up the repayments, probably going into debt to try and live that lifestyle. Live that lifestyle, which is a facade, by the way, people. It ain't true. It's a facade. Oh, my gosh. But the thing that I liked from what Dax had just said then was that we're living on a plantation, and these are our masters. So if you go back to the slave days, what happened with the slave days? So you saw all the slaves or the ones who worked the land. So even if you go back even further in the slave days to the days of the serfs. So if you go into the, the dark ages, the middle ages, the days of the serfs, who basically were allowed to live on the land, but all the prophets, etc., etc., and all the produce went to the master, to the law, to the duke, the earl or whoever owned the land. So this is what Dax is saying. We are literally living in a matrix. This is a plantation. <laughs> we are the workers and we're not getting any of the profits. We're not getting any of the produce because it's going to, oh my gosh. Sorry guys, I get in so much trouble because I, I talk what I think. <laughs> I don't play the game people. And because I don't play the game here at YouTube, I suffer badly. I'm not even gonna go into it, but behind the scenes I've suffered so badly. But guys, sometimes you've got to just tell the truth. Trust me on that. Yeah. Game of life, I'm a king in every domain. Pawn me off to the matrix, I bet you I still reign. Storming through every beat, how I thunder and bring the pain. You would think a tornado hit, how I mix it up when I sang. Radiation from these Hollywood stars is causing the cancer. Mm. Keeping up with the Joneses and chains of paying your master. Mm. Rap is a plantation, make you slave and demand you. Help them pick up the crop that they use to cook propaganda. Michael oh, surround is the plantation and they cook up the crop they use as propaganda but those through the media poison mislead the youth make them believe this don't they reality's been the truth water mm. down education take the god out of schools have you worshiping idols to push political views mm. so the media is the cancer i remember public enemy said what was it about the media don't believe the hype just ask harry allen the media Oh my gosh, and that was in the 90s. Don't believe the hype. Trust me on that. If you like your public enemy, go back and check that out. But what he's saying is they're pushing an agenda, a propaganda. So they're using hip hop and rap to basically nullify the minds of the youth. The youth are aspiring to all these things that rappers are potentially have. <laughs> and they're saying, well, if they can get it from the rap game, from the crack game, from this game, the trap game, then they're gonna do the same thing. But we've been led down a dodgy path, people. Trust me on that. Trust me on that. Have you worshiping idols to push political views? I'm a renegade for what I say, not what I wear. The car I drive and the money you think I got to spare. I'm mm, and That's what I just said. From the car I drive, the clothes I wear, the money I have, you think that I have to spare. I'm a renegade. So what Dax is saying is, and if you look at him, you look at him, he's literally just in a pair of jeans and boxer shorts. And that's it. He's got a little chain here. He's not wearing a big dookie gold chain here. He's not wearing all the fake furs, the levers, this, that, and the third, blah, blah, blah. And you see here the bullets. So there's a bullet with his name on it because there's people targeting him. Because when you go and stand up for the truth, and I've been covering a lot of Sudam Sialis tracks over the last few months. And again, Sudam Sialis tried to stand up for the truth and he tried to get into politics and people don't like it. When people like Dax, Sudam Siala, other people like that, even Tom McDonald, I know people don't like him. They start talking politics, they don't like it. They want the rappers just to be talking about gold, jewelry, drinking, women, drugs. That's all they want rappers to talk about because that brings down the minds of the youth. They don't want the youth to be thinking about political things and to think about the earth, the planet, what's going on in the economy. And that's another thing I've been bashed on. I've been saying to you, the economy crashed a long, long time ago, guys. We're in utter, 
utter devastation at the minute and we just can't see it and that's why i've been battered here in my channel but i'm going to keep talking and i love all the little things going on behind so you can see these things like the ricochet aren't they do you know when the shot gets fired you see these lines coming down and there's been so many bits and pieces in the background that dax has been dropping here or whoever's been doing the sub editing or the post editing on this video because this is a one shot video so obviously it was shot in one take but then they went back to the lab and they put in all the special effects after this guys <clears throat> and it's fantastic and you see dax going there with his like a soldier in the army there soldier in the army bullets flying people because what happens to soldiers soldiers are taught to do not to think but to do so if you say to a soldier jump the soldier jumps you soldier can't say how high or hang on a second is it safe no the soldier is taught to do as he's told and that's what the media want for us to do do as you're told don't think don't think we'll do the thinking for you you do as you're told people trust me on that trust me on that Oh my gosh, this this is incredible from Dax, and he is a renegade. Have you worshiping idols to push political views? I'm a renegade for what I say, not what I wear. The car I drive and the money you think I got to spare. Mm. So he's very minimalistic, minimal, almost nothing. Where this world is pushing you to buy, 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 to attain, to achieve, to grab, grab, grab. Our man is saying, "Hang on a second, hang on a second." Hang on a second, just live within your means, people. Car I drive and the money you think I got to spare. I'm called a duty, I'm modern with all my warfare. Oh, then you see the guns and the bullets here. Call of Duty. I'm Call of Duty. I'm modern with my warfare. So Call of Duty is almost like your virtual reality on the PC, PlayStation, Xbox or whatever. I don't even know what 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 the things are called these days, people. The systems, blah blah blah. But you see that I'm Call of Duty, I'm modern with my warfare. And you see all these bullets going back and forth behind him. This is a great video, people. I'm called a duty, I'm modern with all my warfare. But I don't get paid by the devil, so when my millions there, there's no... <sighs> I'm Call of Duty with my warfare, but I'm not paid by the devil with my millions there. No gravity, weakness, or any atrophy, I invest in myself. My stock's rising and actually... Oh my gosh videography is incredible guys i must just go back to that call of duty line by the devil so when my millions there there's no gravity weakness or any atrophy I invest oh i see so i'm call of duty because when my millions air so yes i get it i get it hold on let's just check that one last time people that was incredible by the devil so when my millions there there's no gravity weakness or any atrophy i invest in myself my stocks rising and actually bonds people together i mutually fund humanity Bank on Dax, it's tax free to gas me this. Mm. So I think what Dax is saying is what he's producing is good for the people, is good for the soul. And it's nothing that is going to be detrimental because he's talking about atrophy. So when something atrophies, it decays and it just breaks down and decays. But what Dax is feeding and giving us is something that's going to grow. And you saw him like he's saying millions there. He's rising with his wings. It's something positive. He's not feeding, you know, like sugars and things like that. Sugar is nice and sweet on your tooth, but at some point it starts to decay and atrophy and it brings you down. You get a nice rush from a sugar rush and then you come down, you crash. So the opposite with Dax, he's what he's given us, he's rising and he's growing. Oh my gosh. I like that. It's rising and actually bonds people together. I mutually fund humanity. Mm. Bank on Dax, it's tax free to gas me. The Bank on Dax, it's tax free. Oh, I like that. Gas me this new election got me pondering things inside my mind. Oh, I think I missed something there. Sorry, guys. Gas me this new election got me pondering things inside my mind. I'm taking President Trump in the game while biding my time. They all. Mm, I'm taking President Trump in the game. I'm biding my time. Trump, Biden. You got the left against the right. Guys, I'm going to reel that back again. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's rising and actually bonds people together. I mutually fund humanity. Bank on Dax, it's tax free to gas me. This new election got me pondering things inside my mind. I'm taking President Trump in the game while biding my time. They all want World War Three, and I see all the signs. So I'm mass shooting these bars. My columns bind. Take your. So President Trump, I'm biding my time. They want World War Three. I can see all the signs. 
And then what was that one he said about Columbine? Um, oh. So Columbine was where those two, they 16 year olds went into the school. They were school kids and they went back into their school and they shot and murdered so many of their own school colleagues. My gosh. My time, they all want World War Three, and I see all the signs, so I'm mass shooting these bars. My columns bind. Oh, so I'm mass shooting all these bars. My columns combine. Columbine, columns combine, Columbine. Yeah, that makes sense. And the World War Three thing is so true. Guys, the economy is shot. It is shot to pieces shot to pieces and when Dax says he sees all the signs this is all the signs that lead up to the prelude to World War One the prelude to World War Two particularly it's all when economies get shot to pieces and then you've got the rise of the right the rise of the left you've got unrest you've got political unrest social unrest economic unrest you've got people now moving from different territories and regions you've got all these refugees whether they be from war economy or whatever social refugees coming through there's so much chaos people and these are the signs the preludes to war we call it people the preludes to war my time they all want world war three and i see all the signs so i'm mass shooting these bars my columns bind take your brain and free it transport it to another place mm. as your speech free if you can't speak if they disagree i see only fans models grossing hundreds of k's but you get cancelled for agreeing with tristan and andrew tate oh only fans i only found out what only fans was was from my friend who owns this recording studio the other week it's where people can, is it a paywall they call it? They go behind a paywall and then they can do whatever they want. But people pay to see what they do. This, that and the third, blah, 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 blah. But I like the fact that he was talking about people getting cancelled for, I can't remember the two guys. I think they did martial arts, whatever. I don't even know who they are, but Tate's, is it Andrew Tate and his brother? But the thing about that that resonates with me and my channel is I'm probably one of the only people I know who has a hip hop channel, reaction channel. I don't swear on my channel, people. I don't swear, I don't use any foul language, I don't cuss. And I got a warning from YouTube, really? Because I covered a track and it was called 4X Biden, XXXX Biden. And I got a warning for that. I literally censor myself, people. I've done it from day one, more or less. I don't swear on my channel, but they came for me because what else could they do? It's a joke. And then you see all these things like OnlyFans and blah, blah. Anyway, guys, I'm not even talking about that because I've never seen it. So I don't even know what these things are about. But for people to come after my channel, really? Are you kidding me? <laughs> guys, so much, so much behind the scenes. You're... <sighs> Models grossing hundreds of K's, but you get cancelled for green with Tristan and Andrew Tate. Atomic hmm. a bomb like Oppenheimer. A stake in the game is a harsh reminder. Oh, do you see the like the Hiroshima bombs there when he's talking about Oppenheimer? Oh my gosh. The nuclear war. The well, it wasn't a nuclear war, the nuclear weapons and nuclear bombs that effectively ended World War Two. Atomic a bomb like Oppenheimer. A stake in the game is a harsh reminder. The beef I cook is the rarest kind. They label me major and always minor in the Oh, the beef I cook is the rarest kinder. So I think that line, I might be wrong when he's talking about that. So off of Oppenheimer, the beef I cook. There's been so many hip hop beefs that have been going on in the last few months. I call it this season people. We had people like Drake against Kendrick Lamar. We even had YouTube YouTubers going against it. Was it Screwface Jean was going up against Knox Hill? We had people like Tom McDonald was being targeted by a lot of people, by Mac lethal he's been targeting other people this that and the third and yeah there's been so much just craziness going on in this community people craziness my steak in the game is a harsh reminder the beef i cook is the rarest kind all right my steak in this game is a harsh reminder the beef i cook is the rarest kind okay i like that I like that. Atomic, a bomb like Oppenheimer. A stake in the game is a harsh reminder. The beef I cook is the rarest kind. They label me major and always minor in the faux tactics and promotional style. Oh. What was that? The major minor scale he just talked about? Oppenheimer, a stake in the game is a harsh reminder. The beef I cook is the rarest kind. They label me major and always minor in the. They label me major, but I'm always minor. Oh my gosh. Hmm. My stake in the game is a harsh reminder. The beef I cook is the rarest kind. They label me major and always minor in the faux tactics and promotional styles I use to engage the masses. Running the game, but when I spaz, they blame it on lactic acid. Cause they know I'm automatic. I don't miss they move the basket. They say I'm out of my mind, but I'm the one who's conscious rapping. Oh. I love conscious hip hop. 
always love conscious hip hop people from PRT all the way through flavor unit you name it love them all but I think Dax now guys let me know down here in the comments section because I don't know enough about Dax but did Dax was he did he used to be signed to a major record label did he used to be signed to major because he's talking about stuff that major record labels do and they tell artists to do as well so I've seen all the things about the commercial side of things, the marketing, this, that, and the third, blah, blah, blah. But he was saying something and he said that they were critiquing him and they were saying that some of the stuff you're doing is not gonna get you over. But Dak said he's the same as whatever. And it was almost like he said he's like a three shooter. That looks like he's taking like a three shooter in the basketball that he doesn't miss. So maybe it's the record label's fault, but I know he's independent now. So I just want to check that out, people. They move the basket. This All right, he said they moved the basket. Yeah, so that's with the free shot. Used to engage the masses, running the game, but when I spaz, they blame it on lactic. All right, so yeah, running the masses, and when he spaz, they blamed it on lactic acids. All right, okay. This is like bodybuilding, etc. Et Used to engage the masses, running the game, but when I spaz, they blame it on lactic acid, cause they know I'm automatic. I don't miss, they move the basket. I like that, they know I'm automatic. I don't miss, they just move the basket. Or the basket. He's a free shot of people, trust me on that. They say I'm out of my mind, but I'm the one who's conscious rapping, living way below my means, avoiding baby mama advances. I like that. So, this is definitely about the record labels. They say that Dax is out of his mind, but Dax actually, hang on, when you look at it, Dax is actually living the straight life. He's living within his means. He's not saying or doing anything controversial or stupid. He's not having babies, this, that, and the third. He's not getting into the drugs, blah, blah, blah. But the things that the record label are pushing, they're pushing things like they want people to have rucks in public. They want people to be shooting, to be taking drugs, to be fathering children, this, that, and the third, blah, blah, blah. So which one is out of their minds? Which one's insane? Which one is sane? You need to make up that choice yourself, people. As a stinking for myself and not getting tricked into political stances, semantics, trigger words, gaslighting, or semantics. If America's printing money, then why the hell am I paying taxes? Oh, if America's printing money, then why am I paying taxes? And we could go all into the fiat system, people, but we're not going to talk about that. The economy has tanked, tanked, people. You may think it hasn't, but it's tanked. We are, <laughs> we are in, ugh. If America's printing money, then why the hell am I paying taxes? Global warming's real, detrimental and problematic, but I'm not buying an electric car because all they'll do is control and crash it like the stock market. Oh, I'm not buying an electric car because all they're gonna do is control and crash it. So we're giving away more and more and more and more of our controls to the government. And I always thought the government was just meant to be here just to give us steering and guidance. They weren't meant to be getting into the nitty gritty of our lives. But if we're gonna give them all the areas that we shouldn't to the government control, we'll have no control of our lives. And he's saying not only will they control all our movements, but they control the stocks. So they control if the stocks go up and the stocks crash. They control everything, people. An electric car because all they'll do is control and crash it like the stock market first destroy the nuclear family the women are easier targets call it toxic masculinity until they needed to fight the wars they started incentivize single motherhood then promote it through the music department and call dax trash and thought provoking music literal garbage no one of the youth of soul lethargy soft easily influenced lack stability self-awareness and guzzling riddle and adhd is over diagnosed kids don't lack focus they've had an ipad since two and that algorithm's potent but oh gosh so Dax is literally breaking down what they said about him and playing it back to them. So they were saying all these things about Dax, this is why you're not gonna make it this, that and the third. But in reality, this is how they are destroying the makeup of the family and the family system. And I'm gonna digress a little bit here, guys, because this was before my time. But if you look back to the 1970s and even the early 1980s, most, Nuclear families, if you want to call the nuclear families, however many, was in like 2.4 children, this, that, and third, whatever. But in most families, you had the mother, the father, the couple of kids, and they all coexisted, and they coexisted more or less quite easily and quite happily on the one wage. But until in the last so many years, they broke up all this idea of a nuclear family. Now, if you have a family with 
two wage earners. So even you had like the mother, the father, the couple of kids, whatever, with two wages, they still can't sustain a family anymore. Whereas they were able to do that in the seventies with one wage. What on earth has happened to our system and our economies? And also with all the things that you see, and I don't really watch all these things, all this social media, I'm not a part of it, trust me people. And I even didn't listen to music for 10 whole years, people. Didn't listen to any new music or anything for 10 years until recently. So I'm, I've got a little bit of a different eye on all this sort of stuff than everyone else who've been in the eye of the storm. So I can see from a different angle here, people, from what Dax is saying. And when you look at it, because he's saying they tie it up with the music, et cetera, et cetera. But it seems like all these traditional systems have been plundered and have been just the rugs being pulled out. But are we in a better position than we were before? You need to answer that question yourselves, guys. I know my answer, but you need to answer that question yourself. Were we better off <laughs> in the 70s, 80s, early 90s? Or are we better off now, guys? I don't know. Only you know the answer. Self-awareness and guzzling riddle and ADHD is overdiagnosed. Kids don't lack focus. They've had an iPad since two and an algorithm's potent, but I'm off that switching gears. V12 with the bar straight, then I move shift and I'm in a clear. And that bay like the Buccaneers. Tempo with the flow. I'll put it in cruise because my control is approaching speed. So he's talking about the Buccaneers. Tempo with the flow. So Tampa Buccaneers. Hold on, hold on. Here's tempo with the flow. I'll put it in cruise because my control is approaching speeds of top five and potentially the goat. <laughs> oh, he's approaching speeds of top five and potentially the goat. So now he's talking about MCing or rapping. He's talking about the top five. Who is your top five in hip hop, people? Who's your top five? Let me know. He said he's potentially the GOAT. And it's funny, I was thinking about this the other day. I think the first time I ever heard of the GOAT in hip-hop was from LL Cool J, the greatest of all time. Because I'm from a boxing background, so we knew the GOAT was Muhammad Ali back in the days. Or, well, in my opinion, it's Sugar Ray Robinson, but it is what it is, people. He's the G-O-A-T, the greatest of all time. But I'm just trying to think the first time I ever heard that terminology in hip-hop was from LL Cool J many, many years ago. Many, it was many years ago, I can't remember when. But I think he even did an album called The Goat or something. I can't remember, but yeah, so our man Dax is looking at that as well. Really? Here's tempo with the flow. I'll put it in cruise because my control is approaching speeds of top five and potentially the goat. <laughs> but no, for real, I just turned <laughs> three it. years old. I've been beat down, stepped on, cheated on, and broke. I was invisible as Daniel, then became Dax and awoken to a lifestyle where I wish I had an invisibility cloak. Oh. So Dax said he's just turned 30 now. He's been beat down, stepped on, spat on, all that kind of stuff, trashed. So as Daniel, but then when he turned himself into Dax, but on the flip side of that, from being invisible as Daniel and beat down stepped on as Dax now, is his life any better because he's famous, he's now being attacked from by other sources, people. So it's it, it it's the downside of fame probably. I just love whoever's done the videography on this. It's the downside of fame. This is a great shot. So you have different, I was about to say responsibilities, but you have different issues that face you in different areas. So that when the dynamics change, your issues change. Well, as Daniel, then became Dax and awoken to a lifestyle where I wish I had an invisibility cloak. Mm. Ain't that funny? Let me like you more when you have money. I go stupid, but ain't no dummy. And I know if the cash flow stops, some of you wouldn't love me. And that's why I value respect. Mm. So now he's talking about, that's another issue, isn't it? When you become famous, you, get, you attract, it's almost like flies. Or bees around honey, let's say. <laughs> I'm not going to say flies, but bees around honey. He becomes a lot more attractive because now he's supposedly famous, the money's there, the lifestyle, and that attracts a lot of bees to come around the honey pot. If you know what I'm saying, people. Ain't no dummy, and I know if the cash flow stops, some of you wouldn't love me, and that's why I value respect. I like that. And if the cash flow stopped, I know that some of you just wouldn't love me because he's, he's not a dummy. He knows what it is. It comes with the territory. All the trap is the success. You get the bees come around you like honey. But if that money stops, he ain't no dummy because he knows they'll be flitting away as quick as anything. 
these people. Invisibility cloak, ain't that funny? Women like you more when you have money. I go stupid, but ain't no dummy. And I know if the cash flow stops, some of you wouldn't love me. And that's why I value respect. Cause you can love me and hurt me. But if you respect and fear losing me, you'll always second guess. Come correct. Return texts in like 30 minutes or less. And make sure when you're around me, you always have good breath. Not manipulate me with sex, then divorce me because you're not happy. And take oh. half of my wealth and say you need to go find yourself. What mm. the f Well, actually, I don't cuss because I'm a Christian. I like that. That's what I just said earlier. What the? Actually, I don't cuss because I'm a Christian. Trust me on that, people. Trust me on that. You need to watch what comes out of your mouth, people, because it represents what comes out anyway. Jesus died on the cross for my sins, and I'm forgiven. These verses take you to church and help you with. Mm, you see the lights that light up. When he's talking about these verses take you to church. Jesus died on the cross for my sins and I'm forgiven. These verses take you to church and help you with mental illness. That's why I don't call it music. I call this hero religion. That's Ooh. why I'm quitting rap. The religion's being abused. Rap used to tell a story and now it's off for the views. I mm, absolutely true. Rap used to tell a story, but now it's just off for the views. Oh my gosh, people. I can reel off all the MCs from way back in the days. People who absolutely were there for the culture and were there telling stories and even like my favorite rapper is cool mo d he used to tell you the stories people oh my gosh oh my gosh hmm. although he could get down with the best of them <laughs> <laughs> Ask LL Cool J. Tell a story and now it's off for the views. I look around at the world, turn on the TV and news, and it feels like I'm on the Truman Show. So what do I do? I oh, the Truman Show. Guys, that is an incredible, incredible, incredible show. If you haven't seen it, watch it. And it stars Jim Carrey. The Truman Show, guys. Oh. Anyway. Go to the gym and carry the heaviest weight I can find. Build it. Oh. I go to the gym and carry the heaviest weight I can find. And I just said the Truman Show is Jim Carrey or Jim Carrey. Like that, like that, Dax, that was, you slip that in undercover. The Truman Show, Jim Carrey. Tell a story and now it's off for the views. I look around at the world, turn on the TV and news. And it feels like I'm on the Truman Show. So what do I do? I go to the gym and carry the heaviest weight I can find. Building up my strength, then sharpening my mind. With books like the Bible, I could run for miles. So he said about books like the Bible and I Torah holding my sneakers. So if you're Jewish, you'll know about the Torah. So the Bible, the Torah, the Hebrew. Oh my goodness, I Torah holding my sneakers. Hmm. Building up my strength, then sharpening my mind with books like the Bible. I could run for miles, but I Torah holding my sneakers, trying to lead the blind, trying to lift the weight that's pulling down mankind, trying to spark a change in this darkness. Now I feel heartless. I gave you ten years. That is an Eminem flow. Is that I am whatever you say I am. If I wasn't, then why would I say I am? If I wasn't, then why would I say I am? Oh, I've forgotten the lyrics. That was Eminem. That's an Eminem flow, people. I love that. And that's fitting because Eminem, Renegade. Trying to lift the weight that's pulling down love mankind. That. Trying to spark a change in this darkness. Now I feel heartless. I gave you 10 years. You ignored me. That Eminem made me flow. this monster who vomits the truth. Regardless of mm. what the mainstream wants. I pop culture with each and every song. The devil's dancing. I will not follow along. I rebuke him with every lyrical concept as a response from mm, you break the devil Matthew to Mark to Luke to Genesis back to John I say mm, the gospel the gospel according to St John he's talking about the Matthew Mark Luke and John the gospels dancing I will not follow along or rebuke him with every lyrical concept as a response from Matthew to Mark to Luke to Genesis back to John I say mm. King James these kids think I'm talking about LeBron oh I love that I say King James and the kids think I'm talking about LeBron really are you kidding me? The KJV, the King James Bible, the King James version of the Bible. We ain't talking about LeBron James, LBJ. Really? Dancing, I will not follow along or rebuke him with every lyrical concept oh, as a response great. from Matthew to Mark to Luke to Genesis back to John. I say King James, these kids think I'm talking about LeBron. I could leave land and travel to every country abroad and disperse heat. May God have mercy on those trying to hurt me. And if mm. I'm not worthy of 
bearing this cross I pray I fall off and get a regular job Back when nobody called Back when happiness wasn't fleeting Even though I was barely eating And couldn't even afford to be in my feelings A politic with you heathens Have anxiety, thoughts of depression Or barely breathing Mama told me this life is a test Most people cheating Looking at others papers Copying and agreeing trials and tribulations of life life is a test and Dax is saying in some ways he was probably happier when he had nothing than it's incredible using makeup to cover up scars and adhesions masking pain with addictions using it to fight demons watching porn and allowing these women to be a weakness of getting naked for money and sucking guzzling semen and in the midst oh. of preaching I hit my knees in agreement understood the assignment expectations and reasons Hollywood's Babylon and they hail right under oh Hollywood's Babylon Hollywood's Babylon Babel Babel Babylon there was a song called Babylon wasn't there but Babylon but then you got Babylon from the days of old the people who tried to build the tower of babel tried to storm heaven the land of babylon oh my god in the midst of a preaching i hit my knees in agreement understood the assignment expectations and reasons hollywood's babylon and they hail right underneath it's the reason they feel the need to proceed and reject jesus regardless if you believe it money power and fame corrupt morality standards mutes and muddies the brain i've seen it for myself held them pushed it away spoke the ugly truth turned to a renegade oh my gosh oh my gosh that was incredible oh my gosh that is the best song I've yeah Dax that was 100% a plus 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 my goodness oh my goodness that was fantastic guys I'm not even gonna say anything guys because I was yipping and yapping a bit too much there but that track from Dax he is a renegade because he stands out amongst all the whatever you want to call it that's going on today. And he's spoken up and he's spoken out. I just hope they don't target him. I just hope they don't target him. I remember with Sidim Siala when he stood up for his people, the Jats. He stood up. He wanted to go into politics to stand up for his people. And what happened to Sidim Siala? Really? When... when Rappers, rappers are just meant to be entertainers, entertainers. But when rappers have a brain, they go after them. They go after any rapper who steps out of his lane. Stay in your lane, they say. Any rapper who steps out of his lane. This is why they got rid of the conscious rappers. The late 80s, early 90s, there was a huge, huge conscious rap scene. Huge. But they wanted to... Really... They don't want people thinking for themselves. They don't like it. <laughs> really? And when I said, when I started my channel, I said it was all about FOS. They battered me, battered me, and battered me again. <laughs> and I'm still suffering, but I'm still going to speak because you only have one life, one life to live. And you need to live your life as you see fit. And if I want to talk about FOS, I will talk about FOS. But that's for another time. But today, guys... Our man Dax Renegade the remix and he did that justice and I'm certain that Jay-Z Eminem would give that the thumbs up that was absolutely awesome guys I hope you enjoyed it so here at Urban Bars guys I hope you go out and have fun it's still the weekend technically but make certain you look after yourselves you look after each other guys please subscribe to my channel here at Urban Bars because we're going to check out a lot more stuff like that from Dax and from other artists who really want to speak their mind and speak their truths, people. Trust me on that. But guys, more importantly than that, make sure and make certain you come back to the next Urban Bars reaction, guys. I'm out.